Hello my fellow fanatics and welcome to another anime review. Today we take a look at the 2012 action mecha anime Breakblade, directed by Tetsuro Amino and produced by IG Productions. I've been hearing a lot of acclaim about this manga so I decided to check it out and has been reading it sporadically. However, I heard that it was turned into an anime so I had to check that out as well. Uh, the anime follows Rygard Arrow, a person who can't use magic in a land where everyone can use magic through Quartz Crystal. Due to the people involved in a series of unfortunate events, he became entangled in the war against Athens to protect his friends and his homeland. Um, if you've been reading my blog, this review was supposed to come out last Friday, but I don't know why I had the hardest time writing this review. Uh, I wasn't sure about my opinions about this anime, so please bear with it as I try to make sense out of it all. The presentation of this anime was quite nice, the voice acting was on point, the sound design did its job but was barely noticeable. The character design to me was quite odd for a material this serious, and the mecha design was interesting but I found that there wasn't a lot of variety in the designs. The story itself was quite generic, um, the same old war between kingdoms plot, uh, but what really drives this anime are the supporting characters. Their relationship with one another and the ties that binds them makes up for a great premise. Overall, I think this anime has some great aspirations but didn't live up to the task. It seemed like it couldn't find its niche and was all over the place. It has a great premise but suffered from the pacing lack of character development, and the uh, technical ability to create a feel of epicness similar to the space operas like Macross or Gundam. Also, uh, please note that the anime changed certain things to push the plot forward so certain events never happened or how certain things that occurred was not the same as in the manga. I think the manga was the better medium for this title as it didn't have some of the problems I listed above but the anime can be enjoyed if you have no previous knowledge of the manga. I sincerely think that the anime could have done some serious editing. To me it felt like it was instead of being movies it felt like really long episodes. That's where it, it kind of dragged on. Well thanks for watching and hope to see you soon again.